Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to write a recursive function that sums the even digits of an integer. And an example of this is our function is going to take in a number like 4356, that's 4,356. And then it will return the number 10. So the reason why it does this is because 4 is an even number and 6 is an even number. So we're going to add them together, which gives us 10. And then you'll notice that we did not uh, sum 3 and 5 as well because they're odd. And another important thing to remember is that the integer input will be non-negative. That means that the integer will be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. And I guess first I come up with a function name. So we're going to return an integer. So I have int here for what we're going to return. And I'm going to call it sum even digits. So that's going to be the name of our function. And we're going to take in a non negative integer. So I'm going to call that non negative integer number. All right. I have my open brackets. And I'm going to have my close brackets down here. And so now we've got to do some stuff in here, some recursive logic here. So there's a few things that we need to know. We need to make sure that I can iterate through the recursion. We need to figure out the base case. We need to know which number is odd or which number is even. And we need to be able to add these numbers. So here I'm going to write the base case. This is a comment. A comment, I'm sorry. Base case. And we're going to write, uh, we know that our base case will be 0 because the lowest number that we can return is a 0. Since number will be an integer greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so our base case is if number equals zero, then we're going to return the number zero. All right. So now for our recursion part, we need to know when the number is even. So if the number mod 2 is 0, then it's even. And if number mod 2 is 1, then it's odd. In this case, we know that it's even. So what do we want to do if it's even? We're going to want to return that number mod it by 10 and the reason why we're modding it by 10 is because this number is going to give us something back um, a number mod 10 will give us a number from 0 to 9 so for instance if we have 46 if we let number equal 46 then 46 mod 10 equals 6. So we get that number right there, that that very last digit. If I had 546 mod 10, I still get back 6. So let's continue with this. That's the reason why we're modding that number by 10. And we're going to add this to our recursion. So this is the recursive case. So we're going to add it to sum even digits. And for our input, we're going to do number divided by 10. Why number divided by 10? Because we need to iterate through the input number there. So 
For instance, we have 4356. Right now, that's what our number equals. Number equals 4356. What we're returning so far is we're returning 4356 mod 10, which is equal to 6. Okay, so that's 6 plus whatever we're inputting here, which we're iterating through number. So number divided by 10, that's going to be 4356 divided by 10. And what does that equal? It's 435.6, right? But remember, number is an integer, so it cannot be a decimal like this, what we have here. And what it's going to do is it's going to round down. So number now becomes just 435. And then it's going to go through this again. And we see that number does not equal an even number. It equals an odd number. So we need to do something for that case as well. For the odd case. And I have to erase that ending there. So else, if the number is not even, then it's odd. Then we're going to want to return some even digits of number divided by 10. So we're not adding anything now. We're just going through the loop and going to the next number up here. So now we're going to be going to 43. And we're going to go through again. Oh, let me close this. So we're going to go through. We have 43. 43 is not even. It's odd. So you do 43 divided by 10. And we get 4. So we go through again. The number equals 0. No, it doesn't. The number is 4. 4 mod 2 is even, yes. So now we add 4 to our sum even digits and we get 6 plus 4 which equals 10. So thank you guys and I will see you all in the next video.